and they know that this was Jesus. And preachers is preaching about Jesus, but don't know Jesus. They are preaching about a God that they don't know. Because they stuck in Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They stuck there. Remember the time I was, I was doing a baptism class. And I had this person that came out of a Baptist church. And now this person to be baptized. And the person told me, oh, I, got, I know everything about baptism. I don't need it. I said, no. I said, you know. So I have a baptism block before I baptize anyone. We said, are we talking? What are you saying? Start saying, what is the difference between this baptism and the baptism I was baptized under? I see being different. Your baptism, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you can't find a record for that. <laughs> but this baptism in Jesus' name, I can present many records. Yes. See, I can support what I'm doing. I can back up with the scripture what I'm doing. The apostle, even though and they get it out of us in, in um, I mean, Matthew chapter 28, when Jesus said, Go ye therefore, amen, teach the one man, baptize him in the name of the Father, Holy Spirit. They get that from there. Yeah. But if you follow the apostle, in none of the apostles baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, they baptize in the name of Jesus and in the name of the Lord. Because they understood who Jesus was. They understand who the Father was. They understood who the Son is. And they understand who the Holy Spirit is. So when they baptize you, they baptize in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, the, so the sister said, okay. Now, now the sister said, okay, I was taught that when I baptize, all of my sin goes in the water and I come up new. I said, that's not scriptural. I should show me scripture. I said, your sin soon go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> if God don't forgive your sin, your sin goes, you, you go in and come out of the red devil. Go in the dry devil, come out of the red devil. Your sin don't go. This is why we, we, we still have problems with people lying even after they get baptized. How problem with people still have certain habits after they get baptized. So baptism, do necessary, change a man or change a woman. <laughs> uh, what do the change? They, 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 there's two baptisms. There's the baptism of water and there's the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The baptism of the Holy Ghost is what does it. The baptism of the Holy Ghost, when a person has been baptized in the Holy Ghost, I'm not talking about ye ka da 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 because you get baptized, if you don't renew your mind, you do the same thing back over and over again. And I saw people do it. I saw people do it. And you said, how could he sin? And he was baptized in water in Jesus' name. You know, what you want? He was baptized, but he didn't renew his mind. <laughs> you see, it don't stop there. See, we get stuck on baptism, but Paul says, go beyond baptism. <laughs> Amen. Because many people baptize and still sinning. Get baptized and still sinning. Still sinning. Baptized and still sinning. And then come after they sin, then come, then speak in, in some kind of language and they call it tongue. But if it ain't a Holy Ghost tongue, Amen. I guarantee it's not the Holy Ghost. Uh -uh. 
Because the Holy Ghost can't live in a vessel that are contaminated by sin. Amen. You kick the Holy Ghost out when you start sinning. He comes out. <laughs> now the problem is the tongue which you got is a made of tongue that's in your mind. See, your mind is like a recorder. Your mind records. And so your mind can give it tongue. You know how you speak in tongue. But you notice when a person back when they speak in this so-called tongue, they just speak one language. That's one particular thing over and over again. And nothing else. Because they can't go deep into it. It was the Holy Spirit is the one that brings them in into the deep tongue. So they just say right there, that's what they memorize. They come out. When the Holy Spirit comes out, automatically the man die. The woman die. And go back. Go back sinning. Go back biting me. This thing. <laughs> because God will not dwell in a, in a vessel that are full of sin. Amen? So when you say you got the Holy Spirit in you, you gotta get, that means that you are living a clean life. In none of us perfect. That's an excuse to sin. <laughs> yes, that's an excuse to sin. In no man perfect. Anytime the person says, no, my person is a person, a person messed up and trying to justify themselves. By telling you, ain't no one perfect because they know they're messed up. Now they're trying to mess you up, telling you that it's impossible for you to be perfect. Amen. You can. You can. Let's go to St. John 17 and verse 21. St. John 17 and verse 21. Jesus said, St. John 17 and verse 21. Uh, again, Jesus is going Jesus to give us, he's going to say again that he's gone. So that means that 
The Father was in him, and the Holy Spirit was also in him. So that's what? One God. John said he saw what? One thing. Amen? Not two, one. Amen? Amen. Now just read verse three. And he that sat was to was to look upon uh -huh. light. <laughs> I can pray for you. Sixteen. Say, amen. I mean, First Timothy chapter three, verse sixteen. You, you, you remember what what uh, 